What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Daddy Chop. A lot of people have been asking me in the comments how to get the audio from my SP straight into my DAW. So today, I'm going to pretty much just be showing my setup. First thing you want to do, obviously, you know, connect the power input. I have two quarter-inch cables running straight into my Steinberg interface. This Steinberg costs me about 160 because it has two inputs, but if you want to get the solo input Steinberg, that should be around 100, maybe like 115. As you can see, my cables are a little too long. So if you want, you could buy, I mean, it really depends on your setup. I would prefer buying, you know, smaller ones, shorter. So this is running into the right interface, which would be the right speaker. I'm go ahead and plug it into the right plug right there. So, you know, pretty much just match it up with the speaker. If you want to test the audio, you could go ahead and play something. Go ahead and plug in the other cable. Well, plugging the quarter inch cables into the interface allows me to do is just play the music through my monitors. So, you know, if you're ever thinking about getting monitors, just keep in mind, you usually have to buy an interface. I have cables running into the back that go to my speakers, some JBLs. And then after I have that connected, I have a USB-C for my computer running into the SP404. What this does is it pretty much just allows your SP404 to run as a run as an interface itself on the computer. Like for example, let me go to my audio settings, Yamaha Steinberg. And it's not popping up right now. Sometimes you just have to close the program, reopen it. And then it shows you all the interfaces available. Another important thing I change is I go to my audio settings on the computer and I change it from my Steinberg to the SP404. And that allows you to control all the sound on your computer with your 404 and you could also record straight into it. So let me play this Linda Sun. Y'all should go check them out, dope producer. But as you can see, it's not playing because I don't have the external source. Now you could pretty much just mess around with it. You could even record into it. So let me do that, record it a little bit. But it wouldn't be able to do that if you don't change your computer settings to the SP404. Now that I've updated my computer audio settings, the audio is picking up straight into my Ableton. Let me go back to my preferences. Show you my settings. I have them set up to the Steinberg interfa interface. And because they're set up to the Steinberg interface and I have my audio inputs going into the interface. And my SP is my computer's interface, if that even makes sense. It's allowing me to pretty much plug all this sound straight into Ableton. I have the external input, have it on the one. You can have it on the one or two, it don't really matter. I mean, I'm sure it does matter, but I have this on the one, this on the two. She do it on one and two. It may be stereo, I really don't know. Maybe one of y'all could tell me, but I'm gonna leave it like this for now. So let me record something. Go to my audio right here. Take off the count in, record, and you can see it's playing the audio straight from YouTube. Feel me, Chopzilla, Big Daddy Chop, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Here's the audio it picked up. Perfect. Let me open up one of my other doors. Machine. Let me go to my preferences. I have my audio as the FL Studio Osseo under device. And for my driver, I just have it as Osseo. If I open up the sampler on here, 
I like to change this right here, the recording, get it off of sync and put it on detect and then move the threshold down just in case you get some quiet audio to still record it. Start some more Big Daddy Chop, Chopzilla. Shout out Flashy is Clayton for the feature. And you can see it's picking up audio right here. If I were to turn this down, audio stops. Let me go back here. Play the audio. Oh no, let's record. Hmm. And now you see I have the audio recorded here. I don't have my MK3 connected, so I can't really show you what I would do from there. But you just chop it up, slice it, and have fun with it. Last but not least, FL Studio. I go to my options, audio settings. I have it set up to my Yamaha Steinberg, which like I've said multiple times, I have my inputs connected to my Steinberg and then my SP404 running as the interface on my computer. And then on FL Studio, I have my interface as the input audio. Open up a mixer. Right here on the input, top right, I have it input one and two because I have both cables connected. But if you were to only have one, you would select which cable you have connected. Is it on the input one or input two? If you only have one cable, you could also run it as mono. Let me get a good look. You could also run it as mono. You just plug it into the left side. Open up Edison. You also got to turn on the volume because if you don't, you'll hear it play twice. It won't record twice, like doubled, but you'll still hear it. Some more Big Daddy Chop. And there you see, picking up. If you want to add an effect on here, you could go ahead and do that. As you can see, it picked it up on here. Turn it down. Come on, man, it's that easy. Well, I mean, this has pretty much been it. There's not much more I could really tell y'all. That's how you get the audio from your SP404 into all your DAWs, pretty much. You can run samples straight off YouTube, straight off record. I have my record player right here, which I just have connected with an input on my computer. I could pick up all the input from there as well, put it straight on the SP, put it straight on any DAW. So, you know, go ahead and invest in the interface. It really helps out. You don't have to download MP3s, waves, nothing. This has been your boy Big Daddy Top. I'm going to see you on the next one.